It is so hot. Hot it is so. For those of you who watch the show in Spanish, hace calor. It's so hot. It's extremely hot. Buddy, we have to do something. We have to get off this floor and come up with some idea how to cool off, right? Okay. We get up on the count of three. One, two, three. It's hot. Boy, is it hot. It is hot. It's so hot. Hot it is so. And we're looking at another week of record temps with no relief in sight. It's really, really hot. How hot is it? It's so hot people are now going on internet auction sites and bidding on shade. It's so hot the Statue of Liberty is wearing a bikini. It's so hot chickens are laying poached eggs. Who says the news doesn't take things seriously these days? We've only been able to find one man who is pleased about the record-breaking temperatures. It's Mr. Anthony Allwork, attorney and businessman. Mr. Allwork, everyone is suffering so. Why are you so happy about this weather? Well, you'd be happy too if you owned all the companies that make air conditioners, ice cream, and sunblock. Want a snow cone? Sure. Fifty bucks. Ah! Some people will make money off anything. But Garfield and Odie had a good idea taking those patio chairs out back. But I didn't hear the back door open. Oh! Ahem. Pull up a chair. I just drank all the lemonade, but you could suck on an ice cube. Garfield! When it's this hot, this is about as fast as any of us can run. I wonder who that is. Can't be the pizza delivery guy. He melted this morning. Huh? <laughs> Drusilla, Minerva. No, I'm Minerva. She's Drusilla. Hello, Uncle John. <laughs> what are you doing here? I. Oh no! Today was the day. Today was the day you promised to take us camping in the woods. You did promise, Uncle John. Yes, you, you promised. But today, in this heat, out in the woods, you can't be serious. All right, you're serious. We'll go camping in the woods, in this heat. Yay! Will the kitty cat come along? You promised us the kitty would come along. We <gasps> I'm sure there's nothing Garfield would like more than to go camping in this heat with the two of you. No! No! I'll give up lasagna! I'll move in with Nermal! Anything! But don't make me go camping with Drusilla and Minerva! Ah! Send me to Abba Dabby. Fourth class if you have to, I don't care. Oh wait, you need a stamp on me. Just hurry, or I'll have to go camping with Drusilla and Minerva. Thanks, I'll take that. <sighs> it's too hot to try and figure this out. <gasps> We're taking the twins camping and that's that. Have pity on a poor kitty cat. I don't do camping. Help! He'll protect us from wild animals. Yay! Camping with Garfield! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I want to be home, I want to be home, I want to be home, I want to be home. Ah, finally, the tents are up. Now, I know what I want to do. We want to go for a hike. Let's roast marshmallows. Let's play hopscotch. We want to have a dance party. But it's 110 degrees in the shade. Shade? Where? I don't see any shade. I just want to dive in the lake and cool off. Yahoo! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow, the sun is so hot. Most of the water in the lake evaporated. What do these kids want? Do they think John can make it rain or something? <laughs> oh. 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 It's raining, it's pouring, all of them are starving. Odie, huh? all these years, I think we've been underestimating John. Huh? Oh. This will cool everyone off. This will... Uh, hold it. My cell phone's ringing. John's ringtone sounds very familiar. Odie, uh -huh. you recognize that tune? Uh -huh. Kitty hat! Oh. We want to play with the kitty! We want to play with the kitty! Hello. Oh, hello, Aunt Ivy. No, I'm happy to talk to you. I'm happy because it's raining. Raining? Where are you? In the forest about five miles from you. Aren't you enjoying this rain? Rain? I always knew you were out of your mind. But you're out of your mind! It's 112 degrees and there isn't a cloud in the sky! No, it's raining! And we're out here and... Oh, wait! It isn't raining? <sighs> of course it isn't raining. Hey! It's snowing! <laughs> it's snowing, just like at Christmas. It's almost a blizzard. Drusilla and Minerva are making a snow Garfield. Oh. <laughs> and the real Garfield just threw a snowball at me. Don't you see it's snowing, Aunt Ivy? Don't you see? Aunt Ivy? Are you there, Aunt Ivy? Duh. I gotta get out of this family. Hmm. Odie. Don't you think something a little odd is happening? My mistake, I asked Odie to think. Hey, it's getting windy. Uncle John, there's wind. Can we fly a kite? Oh, maybe we'd better get some shelter somewhere. Oh. And now it's hailing. Oh, uh. Come on. Don't worry, girls. I'm in charge. Now I'm scared. Rain, snow, hail. What's next? Sandwiches? <gasps> Cheese sandwiches. <laughs> we better get out of here. Let's stick around. Maybe it'll start raining potato salad. Want to go find out, guys? Sure. Maybe later on it'll rain dinner. <laughs> the little cloud! The storm. It went into that house. We're scared. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Huh? It's okay, come on, man. You're not disturbing anything. I was just sitting here controlling the weather. Controlling the weather? Huh? I don't know what it's all about either, Odie. I hope this is a two part episode so we can find out. It's a two-part episode. I'm sorry, did you say you were controlling the weather, Mr...? Pre pressure. A high room pressure. Most people just call me high. Hello. And yes, controlling the weather, that's what I do. Or at least I used to. I don't blame you for being confused. Most people don't know about my work here. They think weather just happens. Oh. I always thought it was due to differences between the temperature and moisture in one place and the temperature and moisture in the other. <sighs> it's the educational part of the show. Oh. <laughs> That's true. They interact and that creates storms or heat waves or snow. But someone has to schedule it and direct it all. That's my job. Before I did it, my father did it. And before he did it, his father did it. And so on. But we play in the rain and the snow and the sleep. An occasional tornado. Oh. Uh, what's that, Garfield? Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. My cat wants to know why you made it rain cheese sandwiches. I did? Uh, my lunch must have fallen into the machine again. <laughs> Once I spilled a head of cabbage in a jar of mayonnaise in there. For the next three weeks, it rained cold slaw in Portugal. <gasps> Well, can you do anything about the heat wave we've been having? Plants are dying. Lakes are drying up. I know, I know. I didn't cause it. You see, my operation here got taken over by a big corporation. They duplicated and upgraded my equipment. But I guess they don't know how to use it either. I've been trying to stop the heat wave here. And that's what you have to stop doing. Mr. Allwork. He, he runs the company that took over for me. My technicians say you've been trying to cool things down. Stop doing that. Oh, but I thought maybe they'd made a mistake. No mistake. I want it that way. Beasley, tell them to go ahead. Right away, Mr. Allwork. The boss says go. I acquired your operation pressure, but I also bought this building. I know. I'm having it torn down right now so you can't meddle with my plans again. Uh, boss, shouldn't we not be in here? Good idea, Beasley. You didn't have to do that, you know. Yes, I did. Only one of us can control the weather, and that's going to be me. <sighs> there are people suffering from this hot weather. And people buying my air conditioners, my sunblock, and all the other things I sell. The hotter it gets, the more I make. Snow cone, for you, half price, $25. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> Well snarled, puppy. That is not a nice man. <sighs> See you later. I have to get back to my office and raise prices on everything. This is all my fault. I never should have let him take over. Hi, Hi old dog. dog. Where's Garfield? Yeah, <laughs> where's the kitty cat? <gasps> I saw your cat and dog get into Mr. Allwork's car just before it left. Well, he may be able to control the weather, but he's not going to be able to control Garfield. The big lunch is at two o'clock, sir. Good. I have just enough time to buy three more companies and fire everyone. Nice of that driver to leave his lunch in the trunk. Worldwide Weather Works, please hold. How should I know which button to push? I can't work anything more complicated than the TV remote. Huh? But this is the machine that's controlling the weather, making it so unbelievably hot so they can sell more air conditioners and things. What's happening next? Well, probably some security guard spots us and yells, Hey you, you're not supposed to be in here. Hey you, you're not supposed to be in here! Hey, can I call him or what? Chasing. Everything's ready for the luncheon, and you've just acquired six companies that make heaters, plus nine that make winter coats. <laughs> Good. After we milk this heat wave for all it's worth, we'll start a cold spell that'll really clean up. What was that alarm? I'll go see, Mr. Allwork. What <laughs> oh, Don't feel me now. Something new, indoor rain, for people who don't get out much. Uh -uh. This is all your fault, you two! <laughs> what happened? I crashed into the weather controls, all because of a cat and dog running around. We have to catch them! Ugh. The technicians say they don't know how to stop this. Well, a little rain won't hurt us. We'll catch the intruders and then worry about it. We can't give up, Odie. The future of the planet may be at stake. Nothing can stop us. Oh, look, lunch. You're right, Odie. I'll eat later. But this food gives me another idea. <laughs> Grab as much as you can carry and follow me. Oh. Oh. 
A good meal starts with soup. Why haven't my guards caught these intruders yet? Mr. Allwork, do you smell clam chowder? It's raining clam chowder. What kind, the red or the white? <laughs> oh, oh, and now it's raining banana cream pies. And me on a 1,500-calorie-a-day diet. <laughs> Onion rings, diced carrots, a selection of cold cuts. <laughs> I see him, Odie. Quick, pass the canned ham. Okay, cat and dog, you're coming with us. The technicians say in order to stop this, you may have to bring back that man you stole the weather controlling business from. That pressure guy? Okay, call him. I have the feeling my business here is out of business. Mmm. Raspberry frosty. He gave me the whole operation back, Mr. Arbuckle. I should have the heat wave ended but within a day or so. So you'll be controlling the weather again. I don't know. I've been thinking. Maybe I ought to try letting nature take its course. Controlling the weather is a lot of responsibility. Hey, hey! Oh, right. Well, before you give it up, my cat has one thing he'd like you to do, kind of as his reward. Sure. Anything for Garfield. Will you see this, Odie? Hmm? We want to play with a kitty! We want to play with a kitty! Not right now, girls. We've arranged something special for Garfield. Did Vito make the delivery yet? He just got here, Mr. Arbuckle. And I've already programmed the storm to hit just your house. <laughs> Boy, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's ready <Freddy> lasagna! <laughs> what kind of weather are you dreaming of? A white Christmas? <laughs> The drapes, did it. Eat breakfast, did it. Three times. Kick puppy off the table, did it. Four times. Let's see what's next. Nah. Yeah, that's perfect. John should be bringing me my lunch soon. Oh, just get me a little bit of sleepy time here. Here's your lunch, Garfield. Oh, he'll find it when he wakes up. Ugh. <laughs> 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 
Ah. Oh, what a great dream. And with marinara sauce, no less. Where's John with that lunch? <laughs> Finally, John has learned the right size to make a sandwich. <laughs> this is gonna take more than one bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bart, find your own incredibly large sandwich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a giant pigeon! <laughs> and another! And another! Giant pigeons are attacking! This is terrible! Especially if you're a statue in the park. Hey! That's my incredibly large sandwich! Find your own incredibly large sandwich! I just violated a basic rule of safety. Never anger a pigeon larger than you are. Giant pigeons! Pigeons that are way too big! Help! Help! Huh? I need a place to hide! Huh? Huh? Like I didn't have enough problems? Now I've got an incredibly large Odie. <laughs> Quick, Odie! Hide me! Thanks, Odie. By the way, you could really use a mint. Cheddar goes over here, camembert over there. I'll put the Swiss in this box full of holes. <laughs> Hi, Odie. Mm. I was just doing a little cheese sorting. You have something in your mouth? <laughs> Wait, let me guess. A doggy toy? <laughs> One of John's slippers? <laughs> okay, I give up. What is it? Garfield. That would have been my next guess. Squeak, you've grown too. You're my size. No, you're my size. Oh, yeah, I guess so. What happened to me? Must be all those diets John keeps putting me on. They all kicked in at once. <laughs> I don't think that's it. What is it, boy? Across the street from that house. <laughs> you think that blue light has anything to do with your downsizing? Sure looks that way. Come on. I've got to find out what that light is and how to undo it. Garfield, wait! Well, getting across streets isn't so easy when you're our size. Hey, I know how to cross a street. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, watch it, watch it! <laughs> I'm walking here. Where's a crossing guard when you need one? We gotta save him. Hi, yo, Odie. Okay, now, I have to get into that house and find out what that weird blue light was. Easier said than done. <gasps> okay, how am I gonna get in there? <laughs> it's Vito, making a delivery here. Aha, my greatest creation, Vito's lasagna. Michelangelo, eat your heart out. 
Vito here. Ah, uh, yes, Mrs. Bacigalup. I will be delivering your large pepperoni in ten minutes. <laughs> I would gladly stay this small if all lasagna could be this big. Don't you worry, Mr. Bacigalup. I just have to deliver one at the house I'm in the front of. A ciao. <gasps> From now on, when John orders a large, I'm expecting this. He's delivering the order with Garfield in it. So, is your son still making with the, uh, the inventions? Oh, yes, he is. Oh, oh, thank you very much, Vito. Prego. Oh, Nathan, dear, lunch has arrived. In a minute, Mother. After lunch, Maxwell, I'm going to try using my size-altering ray to make something bigger. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, I got lasagna with meat sauce. And ricotta cheese and spinach and a pussycat uh, and parmesan. <gasps> oh my goodness! <gasps> uh, hello, Vito. Vito, I did not order a pussycat in my lasagna. That's right! I said pussycat! <laughs> Gotta find whatever made that blue light. What do you mean there's no extra charge for the pussy cat? Came from upstairs. The light came from this side of the house. Do you hear four sets of footsteps? It's not fair. He has four times as many legs as I do. You know, I'd like to apologize for any spiders I may have swatted over the years. This is it. I am so doomed. <laughs> Don't hurt him, Maxwell. He's the cat from across the street. I tested my size-altering ray on him and it worked. Now I want to see if it'll make something larger. But what should I test it on? Me, 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 me! Volunteer, yahoo! Oh, oh, here! Meow. I know. I'll see if I can enlarge my lunch. Then I'll have a huge lasagna. A huge lasagna. What a great idea. Wait a minute. I need to focus on getting myself back to my old size. I'll adjust the dial from shrink to enlarge. <laughs> Maxwell, where'd the kitty cat go? Never mind. He can't get away. Okay. Here we go! Wow! That's a giant sized lasagna! And a normal sized me! You think you're clever, cat? Well, I'll just shrink you again! Oh! Hey, no! Oh! What? I'd better get out of here. Hmm. Couldn't resist. Now my machine's so small. It'll take months to generate enough enlarging power to put me back to my normal size. Oh, Nathan. Now you've gone and shrunk yourself. Oh, well, I guess it's better than that time you turned the house into an interplanetary space cruiser. Here's your dinner, guys. Hope you like it. <laughs> nice to have you back to your old size, Goff. Yeah, uh, thanks for the help, Squeak. Something on your mind, Garfield? Hey, a guy can dream, Candy. Uh... <laughs> 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 